right guys, so today I'm doing a recap on the recent $100 nickel box I went through. Um, it was another competition with Relic Digger. Um, usually we've been getting uh, boxes of coins to search through at the same time, so we basically just um, both do live streams and do competitions, so both of our channels will gain traffic. Um, and uh, we've actually had a lot of fun doing the competitions recently. So um, we both had incredible nickel boxes for our first whole boxes of the year. Um, I've actually, I went through probably $30 worth of nickels already, but didn't really have any silver. I didn't really count it as um, a nickel box because it's like only a fraction of what an entire box is. Um, and Relic Digger, it was actually his first complete nickel box ever. Um, I, I actually ended up winning the competition, but I thought for sure I was going to lose because the first roll we did, he pulled out a 1936 full-date Buffalo Nickel. Um, he just opened the first roll, and one of them had like a bluish edge, and um, he's like, oh, I wonder if this one's painted or something, and it had a little bit of paint on it, but um, anyway, it ended up being a 36 Buffalo, and it's the only Buffalo Nickel he's ever found, so yeah, that was really cool. Um, unfortunately, he did not end up getting any silver from that box, but he has found a 1943P as well this year in a small hunt he did uh, prior to this box. I actually did get silver this box, though. It was a 1943P War Nickel, just like his. Um, funny story, actually. Last year, um, March 25th, I found a 1943P War Nickel, and it was my first of 2017 and this year I found a 1943 P war nickel on March 26th and it was my first of 2018 so that was kind of a coincidence and um, I don't know there's um there are a lot of old nickels in this box too no buffaloes for me but um, I got 38 from before 1961 uh, I do save uh, hold on a second let me focus this I do save uh, 1960 um philadelphia and denver um sometimes i toss them back but i mean i saved the ones from this box uh also down here got a 2009 denver mint low mintage uh hold on i gotta focus this so the light will show all of them um sorry if it's a little shaky this time uh the camera but uh, I found three from 1939, a 1940, a 41 Philadelphia, and a 41 Denver. Um, 1942 up here. I'll show you guys that in a second. Um, but uh, I thought for sure this was going to be a war nickel, but it has no mint mark above the building on the reverse. So it's uh, it's just a nickel composition one. Uh, and then I found two 46s, a 47D or 47 Denver, I mean, uh, two 48s, a 49 Denver, a 1951, uh, three 19, or, sorry, that was out of focus, I think, three 1952 Philadelphia Mint, and then one 1952 San Francisco Mint, um, three 1953 Denver Mint, uh, I think there's three 1954 Denver Mint, too, one of them might be a Philadelphia, I'm not sure, uh, three 1955 Denver Mint, 1956 Philadelphia Mint, uh, 1957 Philadelphia and Denver Mint, uh, 258 Denvers, and 259 Denvers, and then, um, I think two Philadelphia Mint 1960s, and then two Denver Mint 1960s. So, um, it was a really good box to start off 2018, uh, like with my first one of the year. I haven't did one of these since July and I've never streamed one. Um, so, I mean, I, I did get quite a bit of views and likes on that video. So thank you everyone who's watching that. Um, also, I thought it was really cool to get silver on my first whole box of the year. Um, that one I actually didn't think was going to be silver because usually you can tell when you're opening up a roll, you'll see the dark edge and immediately you're like, oh, it's a war nickel. But, um, it, it had a normal, like, silver-looking edge, like, uh, I mean, not silver, but, uh, it looked like a normal nickel on the edge and didn't have that war nickel color, but, um, 
it was silver. It was definitely a surprise, and uh, I was really grateful, um, basically, to start my silver count. I'm hoping that I beat my total from last year. I found 21 silver coins, the majority of them being war nickels in 2017. But um, I'm really sorry about uh, all this shaking. Uh, I really got to get a tripod. Usually I've just been setting my iPod on top of uh, like this old jar I have. You guys have probably seen it. And it does the job, but uh, since there are so many nickels, um, I basically got like a book under my iPod that I used to film today, um, so I can basically have it up higher and get all the nickels into the shot, and it's kind of shaking, so, um, it's not perfect this video, but I mean, I will be getting a tripod soon, I'm fairly sure, um, they're not too expensive, I just gotta, um, basically look for one that I want, um, but, uh, yeah, like I said, I got a 2009 Denver Mint down here as well, um, beat up, but, uh, Still low mintage. Hold on. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it that good, but I I don't see those too too often. I think maybe one or two per box, but um, those are machine wrapped and like I've never got a two thousand nine Justin change. Uh, but um, anyway, yeah, it was a really good box. I mean, I was really impressed, especially with the war nickel. Um. All or all of these finds too. One of the 39s. This one is really good condition. It's not uncirculated, but it's like extremely fine. Um, it's got good detail. Uh, the one of the other 39s too has good detail, but it's doesn't have as much of the luster, I guess, left. Um, but this this doesn't have a lot of luster left. It's just really good details. Um, Definitely pleased with how many of these ended up having mint marks from earlier dates. Usually I'd only get Philadelphia mint, um, depending on the year. But, uh, yeah, so it was a really good box, and I'm going to be doing nickels um, more often now, just trying to get some more silver. And uh, I was getting sick of pennies. Um, wasn't really finding a ton of great things i mean i was finding a lot of old stuff but um not really like anything worth money or like you're not going to find silver hunting pennies um i guess the one exception to that statement is i did find a 1946 dime in a penny roll before that's actually coin roll hunting number seven i, I think if you skip 24 minutes into the uh the former stream uh you can see when i get a silver dime out of a loomis roll so if you guys want to check that out too, it's it was a really cool hunt last year. Um, that was actually my 20th silver of 2017 too. So I think it was anyway. But uh, yeah, that was crazy. But chances are it will never happen to me again. So nickels are the easiest way to get silver. And you can get, I've got three war nickels in one box before. So And each of them has like, I think, I don't know, 90 cents worth of silver in them. I'm not really sure though. I haven't really checked lately. Um, silver price keeps going up and down, so I don't know. It, it was a good box though. Um, definitely a lot more 50s old uh, Jefferson nickels than um, 40s, but I'll, I'll still take all these finds. I really haven't found a lot of old Jefferson nickels this year till now. Um, none from change, at least uh, 14, I think, from the the. $30 I already went through, but, um, like I said, this is the first war nickel, but I'm going to wrap this up because it's almost 10 minutes long, I'm seeing, uh, but anyway, like I said, probably for, like, the 10th time, this was a really good hunt, uh, I had a lot of fun doing it with Relic Digger, um, he had a lot of fun, too, with the Buffalo nickel, especially, and the final score ended up being 283 to 254, I believe, um, Actually, it might have been 258, but I'm not sure. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, going to keep doing coin roll hunting because, I mean, my past, I don't know, 20 videos probably are coin roll hunting, and you guys seem to like those. So um, when I'm able to get to the bank, I'll upload a video, possibly stream it, even if it's not a competition with Relic Digger. So um, stay tuned for that, and uh, keep 
keep the flow of likes coming. Uh, thank you guys for that too. I've seen um, a lot of likes lately and a lot of views. Um, so uh, thanks for watching this video too. Um, like I said, more coin roll hunting coming soon.